Hello mga bata! I'm Teacher Nell, your science teacher for today. Alin sa mga bagay na ito ang useful at harmful? Ano-ano ang mga properties ng mga useful and harmful products? Yan ang ating pag-aaralan ngayon. Ang tungkol sa properties of useful and harmful products. The most essential learning competency for this lesson is to use the properties of materials whether they are useful or harmful. The specific learning objectives are the following. Identify some properties of materials found at home and in school. Classify properties of materials as to their uses whether useful or harmful and use materials properly according to how useful or harmful it is. This time, get your notebook and pen and be ready to answer the next five questions. Are you ready? Let's start! Directions Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answer in your notebook. Remember, you have to submit your answers to your science teacher. Number 1. Which of the following household material is made up of woven fibers? A. Ceramic B. Plastic C. Rubber D. Textile Number 2 Which utensil will you use to heat a noodle soup? A. Metal pot B. Plastic bowl C. Wooden mug D. Styrofoam pan Number 3. Which of the following is an example of toxic material? A. Butane B. Much C. Firework cracker D. Expired medicine Number 4. Which material is best to use in making tires? A. Metal B. Rubber C. Styrofoam D. Wood Number 5. What property of material does the object possess? A. Brittle B. Hard C. Heavy D. Opaque Did you find the short quiz difficult? Do not worry, we are going to discover more about the properties of useful and harmful properties as we move on with our lesson. Before we proceed to our lesson, let us define first the terms used in this lesson. Useful materials are materials that serve with a purpose. Harmful materials are materials that bring hazard. To start with our new lesson, do the next activity. Directions Study the pictures of materials shown in the next slide. Identify at least three materials in each picture and write their names under appropriate column. Kitchen Door 
dining area. room Raj Don't forget to submit your answers to your science teacher. What are materials? Materials are physical substance to make things. Categories of materials are Metals like brass, bronze, metal sludge, steel, aluminum, cast iron, and copper. Plastics Glass Ceramic, generally made by picking mixtures of clay, earthen elements, powders, and water, and shaping them into desired forms. Fiber Rubber The clothes you are wearing are made from fibers. The chair you use to sit is made from plastic. The windows in the school are made from glass. Can you see any other examples around you? Let us try to explore another activity. The activity entitled, Classify Me. Directions, classify the following materials based on the properties or characteristics they possess. Write your answer in your notebook. Rubber band, plastic glass, paper clips, copper wire, tin can, chewing gum. The properties are malleability, elasticity, brittleness, hardness. Write the solid materials. Don't forget to submit your answers to your science teacher. Answer the following guide questions. Number one. What property of a material can be readily observed by our senses? Number two, what are the different physical characteristics of materials? Give more examples of materials with such characteristics. Materials have different properties and characteristics depending on what they are used for. Some materials are hard, others are soft. Some are strong, others are weak. Tell 
properties of materials found in products we use at home and in school. Shiny, it reflects light. Strong, it won't break easily. Flexible, it can be bent easily without breaking. Light, it doesn't weigh much. Heavy, it weighs a lot. Magnetic, it is attracted to magnet. Hard, something that can't be bent easily. Brittle, it is hard but will break easily. Malleable, it can be shaped easily. Transparent, something you can see through. Translucent, something you can partially see through. Opaque, something you cannot see through. Conductor, it allows heat or electricity to pass through. Elastic, ability of materials to return to original shape after deforming what can you see in your screen now are the materials and properties and their products please go through each one of it and study it carefully This time, let us explore another activity. This activity is entitled, Harmful or Useful? Let's classify. Directions. Classify the materials listed below as useful or harmful. Identify its use and harm it may cause. Write your answer in your notebook. Used batteries. Broken glasses used papers, empty jars, worn out shoes, old clothes, old jeepney tire, used CDs, empty boxes, plastic bottles. Write the materials if it is useful or harmful, the uses, and harm it may cause. Answer the following guide questions in your activity notebook. Number one, what are the characteristics of useful materials? Number two, what are the characteristics of harmful materials? Number three, what are the bases for classifying the materials as useful or harmful? Don't forget to submit your answers to your science teacher. Keep this in mind that a material is considered useful when it serves its purpose. For example, bottles are made to contain any solid or liquid material. When they are already empty, they can still be used for other purposes. Whether a bottle is made of plastic or glass, it has certain property that makes it reusable. A material is considered a waste when it can no longer be used after it serves its, its purpose. It is considered harmful when it can harm to people, animals, and environment. Materials considered useful when it serve a purpose. These materials may have properties such as durability, resistance to water, heat, acid, flexibility, elasticity, and hardness. 
Among the materials that are useful to people are metals, plastics, wood, ceramics, rubber, and textile. Some materials that people use every day can be harmful when they are used improperly. Some materials can cause injuries, others can be corrosive, flammable, or explosive, poisonous, or reactive. Corrosive materials can damage or destroy the outer layer of other material. Muriatic is a corrosive material that is very useful in removing stains from tiles. However, when applied on metals, it corrodes that metal. It could easily burn a person's skin. Flammable materials can easily catch fire when exposed to heat. Explosive materials are those substances that contain a lot of heat energy. Poisonous or toxic materials can cause sickness or death when they are swallowed, inhaled, or absorbed through the skin. Reactive materials cause a chemical reaction when they are mixed with other substances. This time, it's time for you to reflect. I have learned that I wish to ask my teacher about Write your answer in your notebook Don't forget to submit your answers to your science teacher To strengthen your ideas about this lesson Do the next activity Directions Analyze each statement carefully if the statement is correct, write true. If the statement is incorrect, revise the entire statement, state your reason in revising it. Write your answer in your notebook. Again, if the statement is correct, write true. If the statement is incorrect, revise the entire statement, State your reason in revising it. Write your answer in your notebook. Number one. Your father is in a gasoline station and is lighting his cigarette. Number two. Henry chose piña fibers for his barong because they are made of natural fibers. Number three. Laura reads the signage. Metals are the best insulators of heat and electricity. Number four, Bobby included the wood scraps in his compost because it can easily decompose. At this point, let us assess what you have learned on this lesson. Test one. Directions Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answer in your notebook. Submit your answer to your science teacher. Number 1. What property of material does the object possess? A. Brittle B. Hard C. Heavy D. Opaque Number 2. Which material is best to use in making tires? A. Metal B. Rubber C. Styrofoam D. Wood Number 3. Which of the following household material is made up of woven fibers? A. Ceramic B. Plastic C. Rubber D. Textile Number 4. Which utensil will you use to heat a noodle soap? A. Metal pot B. Plastic bowl C. Wooden mug 
the styrofoam pan Which of the following is an example of toxic material? A. Butene B. Much C. Firework cracker D. Expired medicine Directions Determine if the underlined material in each sentence is useful or harmful. Write U if useful and each if harmful. Write your answer in your notebook. Number 6. A can of hairspray will explode if exposed in hot storage. Number 7. Diamonds embedded in drills are used to cut glass in large factories. Number 8. Bleach helps remove stains and grimes in sinks. Number 9. A shiny metal object placed in front of part of a chimney can reflect light and distract other jeepney drivers. Number 10. A rubber that is used to cover an electric wire for protection. Congratulations mga bata! Thank you for completing this video lesson. Until next time!